Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to add a barrier uh, reversing method for AI cars. So, usually in the tracks, uh, sometimes uh, our cars stuck out with these barriers, side barriers. So, although in this circuit, we uh, have no problem with this, but uh, definitely you can have a problem with your own scenes if uh, they are very close and in certain uh, areas your AI cars will stuck out with these uh, side barriers so how we can solve this so first of all we will select these uh, barriers uh, the side barriers and we will just uh, uh, tag it as a barrier as a barrier like this okay and uh, then uh, what we will do we will just go to our AI car script car AI control script and here we will create a public private bool variable barrier stop equal to false initially and then on the line number almost uh, 190 I think yeah this one 193 we will create uh, these colliders and uh, uh, before that here uh, in this function under this function on the line number approximately 170 no 176 uh, before this line of code you can see feed input to the car controller we will add this statement if barrier stop equal to false then we will add and this line of code inside if statement and also we'll just copy this line of code paste it here and we will make it true and we will make it minus minus acceleration so what will happen that if we stuck with the barriers the uh, car will move in reverse okay so this minus is actually mentioning the uh, acceleration to the reverse side the opposite side so this is important after that we have added this uh, on trigger inter function and we have said that if we are striked with barrier then barrier stop will be true and if we exit it uh, from the barrier then we uh, didn't initially uh, uh, just uh, straightforwardly make it fast but we will start a coroutine barrier reset and we will add it a coroutine here in the bottom uh, coroutine barrier reset and we will wait for 1.5 seconds and barrier stop will be false so this line of code you should add to your AI car AI control and uh, that's it and now we will, we will uh, just test it out so let's uh, let's hide all the enemy cars and the player car as well and uh, let's uh, select camera and uh, I will just add enemy car for time just for testing purpose and uh, here you can see we have already the barrier so I will just create a cube here just for testing purpose that uh, everything is working fine or not and uh, here we can just make this cube bigger let's add it here sorry let's add it uh, here maybe okay and uh, the tag should be barrier for this cube and uh, we will just enable the is trigger sorry no we don't need is trigger because if we enable this trigger the car will strike with this and it will just pass through the barrier so it will not make it is trigger so for the car we will just select the car which is enemy black car and on the car itself we should need a uh, collider okay you can see by default there is no collider on the car main body so we will just select the car and actually I will want to add a collider for all the cars so I will just uh, enable these cars as well for now uh, and uh, we'll select all the enemy cars and uh, let's go to components and we can add a box collider so here we can 
add box collider component and uh, we'll just make it is trigger and now we will select cars one by one and we will just define this collider so you can see that this collider is uh, here so we can just move it the front of the collider around like this and to this side as well and uh, now I think this collider is good for the black car and similarly for red blue and yellow car we will do the same but uh, for now I will just test it out so let's play the game and uh, let's see what will happen so hopefully when we will our AI car will strike with the uh, collider it should uh, reverse back so let's see and uh, yeah strike back and it didn't reverse at all for certain reasons so we will see what is the problem here so the tag of is AI car the barrier tag is actually I will just these are all these cars and uh, the barrier tag should be barrier the cube is barrier and uh, the problem is that uh, we was using uh, on trigger enter and uh, actually the barrier is not a trigger so we should not cross the tr uh, that barrier so we can add actually collision free private void on collision enter collision and if collision came object compare tag barrier then we can we have the same code for the collision exit and collision enter not void on trigger enter so now hopefully it should work so let's play the game and uh, you will see that uh, when our enemy car will struck with our uh, a barrier it should reverse so let's see so yeah you can see after striking the barrier it reversed yeah that's great and that's great so in this way we have successfully added a reverse methodology for our car and uh, I will just add barriers uh, these colliders to all other cars as well and in next video we'll move further